All right, sorry about that, folks. Uh, I uh, um, I got my uh, I got my times mixed up there, and uh, um, I, I have a, another party um, that I, I have today, but it's not until twelve thirty um, at uh, um, in, in the morning. So uh, I, I I got I got I got a little confused. My uh, my bad. I swear uh, that'll be the only technical difficulty that we have uh, we have today. All right, uh, welcome to the School of Human Sciences Sport Administration, Exercise Science, Sports Studies, Faculty, Staff, Students, Family, and Friends. I am welcoming you now to the Spring 2021 School of Human Sciences Sport Administration, Exercise Science, Sports Studies Awards and Senior Recognition Ceremony. My name is Dr. Phil Anton and I am Associate Professor and Program Director for Exercise Science here at SIU, and I am also the Awards Officer for our unit. Um, so that puts me in the position of being the Master of Ceremonies today. All right, first thing, number one, you'll have to excuse my occasional showmanship. Um, I, I like to have fun whenever I can, and this is uh, supposed to be a celebration of the achievements of our students and as in any good celebration you should have fun <clears throat> during that celebration and not get a frog in your throat in the middle of your introduction. Number two, you may see that uh, there is uh, an extra uh, camera on the uh, on the zoom called the B cam and that is uh, that is uh, showcasing the mascots of our program, which is our four-legged friends, Beasley, Booker, and Bonnie. And they are here to help us celebrate today and to entertain you during the festivities, just in case this gets, uh, gets a little bit boring from time, uh, uh, time to time. So if you do, do get bored, please feel free to, uh, to eyeball the... Uh, the Beagle Cam, and uh, they will uh, certainly entertain you, although most of the time they'll probably end up uh, just, uh, just sleeping. All right, so in the past, we have held this particular ceremony in person, but despite the fact that SIUC is returning to an in-person commencement after two semesters of virtual commencement, we had so much fun with our Zoom award ceremony in spring and fall of 2020 that we thought we'd do it again. And don't get me wrong, the in-person ceremonies are great. They're a lot of fun too, but the Zoom format does allow us to have more family and friends present. So that is another reason why we are continuing to have our ceremony here for exercise science, sport administration, and sports studies. So we say thank you for your attendance today and thank you in advance for uh, uh, your patience and your understanding for any technical difficulties that may occur during the broadcast today. Just so you guys know, you may have already noticed on your Zoom, this, uh, this uh, ceremony is being recorded. So it will be posted on social media later. So please no obscene finger gestures, please no profanity, um, please uh, no off color uh, uh, remarks, uh, et cetera. Un unless they are done by the MC, then that is, uh, that is allowed. All right, we will be recognizing a number of fantastic people today, and they are all listed in the awardees list 
that was emailed to the students who RSVP'd for the event. So if you are a family member or a friend and you do not have this list, it is because your student did not send it to you. So it is in their email. They can forward it to you right now if, uh, if, they, uh, if they so uh, uh, desire. It might help with the announcements of, uh, of, of awards when we get to your uh, student's name. And I'll go over those, uh, those rules, rules again here in a, uh, in a second. I also emailed the award descriptions to uh, your student. Um, so if, uh, if you don't have that in front of you, your student did not forward that on to you and they are responsible for uh, 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 doing that. All right, the, uh, the first uh, person or persons that we would like to recognize is our office staff. And we have two student workers, Kaylee Reynolds and um, Alexia Richard. And we have a graduate assistant named uh, uh, Rala Mita and they are the glue that holds our program together. They end up doing all of the not so fun stuff that uh, we as professors would rather not, uh, not do. They save us a lot of time and help us to, uh, to do the job that we need to do um, as we uh, go along. So thank you very much to our front office staff. Now, obviously on our Zoom today, we have lots of family and friends of our student honorees. And we truly appreciate you guys making the effort to be here today in the middle of the day at 1230, maybe even using your lunch hour for, for this. And we also very much, as I'm sure your student does, appreciate your support over the years. So what I would like to do is have everybody go off mute for a second. And I would like the family and friends to, you don't have to stand up if you don't want to, but please take a bow and let, let's give them a nice round of applause. Everybody off mute. Hooray. I'll count it. One, two, three. Thank you. Yay. All right. Next, I would like to introduce the Sport Administration, Exercise Science, and Sport Studies faculty um, and, and uh, administrative staff that are here. From Heron, Illinois, an instructor of exercise science, Mr. Patrick McCowan. Patrick. From Gumi Kainbuk, South Korea, Associate Professor of Sport Administration and Sport Studies, Dr. Myungguk Park. Dr. Park, please take your, yourself off of, uh, show us your video so we can see your face. There he is. All right. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Park. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> and then finally, from Daegu, South Korea, Professor of Sport Administration and Sport Studies and the Sport Administration Program Director, Dr. Taeho Yo. Dr. Yo. Here. Thank you, Phil. All right. You're welcome. Did I did I miss anybody? There is there is one more. He is I'm gonna go back to him in my list because I didn't see him and I didn't he didn't say anything. Of course, from Knox, Indiana, an instructor of sport administration, Kevin McCarty. Kevin, please take yourself off of. There he is. All right, thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it. What we'd like to do now is give a real brief shout out to our registered student organization advi advisors. Dr. Knapp was unable to join us today, but she is the advisor for the Sports Studies Association. And then the uh, advisor for the Organization of Sport and Exercise Science um, is myself, Dr. Phil Anton. All right, now, what, the, the important reason that we're here today is to showcase our students. And I, what I would like, if possible, I see a lot of people have their video off. What I would like to do is post a couple of pictures of our, uh, um, of our uh, attendees. So if you don't mind, at least for a brief moment, could everybody take themselves off of their uh, video mute so we can see all of your shiny faces. If possible, if you are in some state of undress, please do not uh, take, uh, please do not start your, your video. And I'm just going to scroll across my screen here. And guests too, guests, please, uh, please take yourself off of your video mute if possible. And what I will end up doing is taking uh, some screenshots from, uh, from our 
uh, from our Zoom today. All right, anybody else want to take themselves off of their, uh, or maybe you don't have uh, video on your phone or on your, uh, your computer, that's also possible. All right, scrolling across, scrolling across. All right, I think I got everything there. So if you wish to go back on your video mute, you may do so at this time. Hear me. All right, so we are blessed to have many brilliant, hardworking and compassionate students. And many of them have, uh, have taken the time to join us here today for this ceremony. All right, what we'd like to do is begin by uh, recognizing our 2021 Endowed Scholarship Award winners. These awards are, um, have a monetary uh, award that goes, uh, goes with them, and they are selected by our Sport Administration, Exercise Science, and Sport Studies faculty. First of all, from Alito, Illinois, a graduating senior majoring in exercise science, she is a strong survivor staff member. She is an academic honors recipient, and she is the recipient of the Lingle Itner Family Memorial Honor Award, Maris Bolins. Congratulations, Maris. Maris is one of those softball players who was unable to join us today, but I promised her I would go ahead and read her, her, uh, her name. All right, next, from Fort Wayne, Indiana, a senior graduate in exercise science. She is also a strong survivor staff member. She is also an academic honors recipient, and she is the winner of this year's Carol Lee Swim Memorial Award, and that is Abigail, yo! Yeah, <laughs> From Orland Park, Illinois, a senior majoring in exercise science and graduating, an academic honors recipient. She is the winner of the Dorothy Davies Kinesiology Award. Uh, 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 Emily McGiles. Thank you. All right, now we're going to move on to our 2020-2021 Student Achievement Award winners. These are also decided upon by the Exercise Science, Sport Administration, and Sports Studies faculty. First of all, from Heron, Illinois, a senior graduating in exercise science. She is a strong survivors staff member. She is an academic honors recipient, and she is the 2020 2021 Exercise Science Student of the Year. Michaela Smothers! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Thank you. <laughs> Next, from good old Carbondale, Illinois, a local boy. He's a senior graduating in sport administration. He is an academic honors recipient, and he is the 2020-21 Sport Administration Student of the Year, Sk -sk -sk Skyler Blade Peterman. Oh, Skyler! Great to go! Thank you, thank you. Congratulations, Skyler! Congratulations, Skyler! <laughs> All right, next, from Hardin, Illinois. She is a graduating master's student in exercise science. She is also a strong survivor staff member. She is the 2020-21 Graduate Student Achievement Award winner, and that is Emma B -b 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 Bowman. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. <laughs> All right, now we're going to move on to our academic honors recipients. You've already heard a few of them introduced as academic honors recipients winning either scholarships or student achievement awards. For academic honors, you have to have a 3-5 or above to be academic honors eligible. 
Now, there were a few students who were unable to join us today, um, but what I would like to do for them is I would like to read their names. I'm gonna read them all the way through, back to back, and then we can give them a giant round of applause when I'm done reading them. And there's a, there's a couple of pages, so bear with me. All right, Keenan Agnew, Madeline Aloof, Adrian Barrett, Haley Barrett, Miracle Berry, Natalie Beathers, Josie Brown, Brandon Caldwell, Ian Calhoun, Cade Carter, Kylie Carter, Bailey Kaler, Kaylee Conlon, Maddie Eberly, Presley Gouch, Lucas Giggling, Riley Hamilton, Spencer Hoffman, Marissa Holmes, Madison Engel, Adriana Ketcher, Emily Kern, Jacob Kratz, Edward Maloney, Caitlin Massa, Joseph McCracken, Alex McRaven, Ryan McVicker, Bailey Newberger, DeAndre Newman, A.V. Nichols, Allison Potter, Sydney Prochesca, Cecilia Ritter, Melanie Scheibling, Tori Shulian, Kaylee Seelbach, Sydney Sykes, Devin Speed, Dylan Stewart, Jared Summers, Kristen Thomas, Riley Vaughn, John Volmert, and Ashley Wood. On the count of three, let's give them a round of applause. One, two, three. Okay. Now these were all students that RSVP'd for the ceremony. They are academic honors recipients as well. And because they are RSVPing and they're, I think here, they get a little extra pizzazz in their introduction. And these are all in alphabetical order. If you haven't figured that out by now, if you don't have the list in front of you, you can kind of figure out where, by last name, not by first name. All right, here we go. From Carrier Mills, Illinois. She's a junior majoring in exercise science. Jordan, Charlize, Burnham. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> From Mount Laurel, New Jersey, a senior majoring in exercise science and graduating, a strong survivor staff member, Justina Ashley Lonnie. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. From New Albany, Indiana. She's a freshman majoring in exercise science. She is also a strong survivor staff member. J -j 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 Jessica Renner. Thank you. From the city of the big shoulders, Chicago, Illinois, a junior majoring in exercise science, Emily Santos. All right. The last thing we like to do, and you could say that we saved the best for last, is that uh, we would like to recognize our graduating seniors and graduate students. Now, I'm not going to read the entirety of that list because it's a relatively long list, but I am going to read those who uh, RSVP'd for the ceremony. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I am also doing these in alphabetical order. From Marion, Illinois, majoring in exercise science, and I'm not going to say senior graduating because obviously they're a senior graduating. Majoring in exercise science, Lynette Acre. Good job, Lynette. Good Thank job, you, Lynette. <laughs> From East St. Louis, Illinois, majoring in sport administration, Chris Cutton. Chris. From Columbia, Missouri, majoring in sport administration, Chris Edwards. 
words. Hi, Chris. <laughs> Congratulations, Chris. Thank you. From Riverton, Illinois, majoring in exercise science. She is also a strong survivor staff member. T -t 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 Taylor Hawk. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> All right. I think I saw John Kaladi's name on here. John, are you here? Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to have you pronounce the name of the city you're from in Nigeria, please. Oh, we're, I'm from Ikiti State. <laughs> What's that? Ikiti State. E -K -I. Okay. Yeah. I, ne I never would have gotten that right. So I'm just going to go with Nigeria. From Nigeria. A master's student in exercise science, John Colati. Thank you. From Hoover, Alabama, majoring in exercise science, sport. Oh, and John is also a strong survivor staff member. I forgot that part. Sorry, John. I'll start that next one again. From Hoover, Alabama, majoring in exercise science. She is also a strong survivor staff member, Kyra C. Hunter. From Antioch, California, a graduating exercise science graduate student, Brandon Lee. Another student from the city of the big shoulders, Chicago, Illinois, majoring in sport administration. Brandon Miller. Yes, sir. Yeah, baby, yeah. 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 Congratulations, Brendan. Uh -huh. All right, we have two Chicagoans back to back from Chicago, Illinois, majoring in exercise science. She's a strong survivor staff member. This is easily the longest name that we have on the list. Isabel Estefania. Nira, bravo! <laughs> From good old Carbondale, Illinois, another local individual, majoring in sport administration, Cyan, p -p 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 person! From Gainesville, Florida, majoring in exercise science, a strong survivor staff member, Willie Edward Rogers, the fourth. All right, next. From O'Fallon, Illinois, majoring in exercise science, Mason Sheldon. From Gaston, Indiana, majoring in sport administration, Alyssa Sutton. Oh, Alicia. All right, we had one student who was unable to uh, uh, join us today at the very last minute, but I promised her I would read. I would read her name. Local person from Carbondale, Illinois, majoring in sport administration. Ma 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 Mia. Thompson. Oh, Mia. 
<laughs> From Dietrich, Illinois, majoring in exercise science, a strong survivor staff member, Adam Warfel. Thank you. And last but not least, according to my list, from Marengo, Illinois. It sounds like a very exotic place, doesn't it? Marengo, Illinois. Majoring in exercise science, a strong survivor staff member, Charlotte Westmoreland. Woo, that's my roommate. <laughs> All right, did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? Doesn't, doesn't look like it, doesn't sound like it. I'm not getting any hands up or shouts out or anything, anything uh, like that. Now, we've got just a couple of minutes left. One tradition that I never tell the seniors about before we do this ceremony is, uh, is that what we like to have them do is share what their future plans are, if they have any, with the rest of the Zoom. So I'm going to need, uh, I'll call on you uh, 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 one at a time, and I would like you guys, if possible, to share what your future plans are if you have them. And if you don't, make up something good, make up something creative, okay? Entertain us. All right, Miss Abby Young, you are first. Hello. Um, my plan, so I am taking a gap year, and I am, um, I have an internship this summer, and then Ooh. I'm um She's going to, today <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to um gain more hours before i apply to pa school all right thank you very much abby thank you all right emily mcgiles you are next um i'm actually i'm taking a gap year as well before pt school but i'm going to try to play golf um so i'm moving to florida and going to work on that excellent all right, Michaela Smothers, you are next. Um, I'm actually, so I graduate May 8th and then I'll start um, physical therapy school May 10th at the University of Evansville. And right now I'm currently wanting to hopefully do a residency in orthopedics. And then I'd like to come back to Southern Illinois and give back to my community and then maybe become a part of the Strong Survivors Program as a physical therapist. That would be pretty cool. Maybe you can just take over when I retire. How about that? All right. Uh, Skylar Peterman, you are next. You still here, um, Skylar? Yep, I'm right here. Oh, there he is. Uh, okay. May 21st, I'm uh, heading down to Austin. I got a job in uh, sales down there. Nice. Excellent. Emma Ballman. Um, I start school at WashU for their physical therapy program in August. Excellent. Uh, Jordan Burnham. Um, I am planning to go to physical therapy school in Evansville, but I saw that SIU is going to be getting it soon. That is, that is correct. They should be uh, uh, putting together their, their first class starting, uh, uh, st uh, starting this year from what I heard, so. Yeah, I'll probably do that. <laughs> All right, uh, Justina Alani. Woo! Um, I will be starting school May 24th at the University of South Carolina. I'll be getting my master's in athletic training. Woo, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yet another proud mom moment for Nina L not, uh, Lani. <laughs> she likes her screen time too, you know, which I can respect. All right, uh, Lynette Acri. Um, Next month, I'm going into a uh, massage therapist program. Nice, excellent. Are you gonna come back here and uh, and offer us all free uh, free massages? Maybe. Maybe, all right, well, we'll, 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 we'll negotiate that. All right, Chris Cotton. Yes, sir. I am currently working on, uh, so in the beginning of June, I'll be dropping my own personal basketball brand called Chris's Court Vision. So everyone, please be on the lookout for that. Right now, I am working with uh, current 
uh, college uh, players and um, basketball uh, professional basketball players um, with um, with skill development right now. Um, I don't know if you guys know Kavion Pippen. Um, definitely worked with him while he's overseas here. Um, also, I'll be working with Cade Cunningham, who might be the number one pick in the draft pretty soon. So, just be on the lookout for Chris's Square Vision. Sounds great. Keep well, uh, Cade worked worked out with me while he was here at SAU, so you're going to have to correct some mistakes there, Chris. <laughs> just, just, just kidding. I wasn't allowed anywhere near the basketball court. All right. Uh, <laughs> Chris Edwards. Yeah, um, I've actually got a job interview at two, so here in less than an hour. <laughs> nice. um, and other than that, I'm just hanging out with my dog here. Hi, Buddha. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. Hey, Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We like dogs around here, as if you couldn't tell. All right, good luck in that interview. All right, uh, Taylor Houck. You still here, Taylor? I know you were here earlier. I see her name, but she may, she may be hiding. All right, maybe we'll come back to Taylor. All right, John Kalati. Uh, okay, okay, I think you can see me now. Uh, well, I just got into a, a PhD program for behavior analysis to start in the fall. Um, I was the ultimate plan is to go into medical school and. You know, I, I'm trying to get more credit hours, and that's why I'm picking up the PhD, uh, PhD program. All right, excellent. All right, Kyra Hunter. You hear Kyra? Not seeing Kyra. All right, Brandon Lee. I'm getting the feeling that I announced two names to uh, dead silence. All right, that's fine. Uh, Brandon Miller. I see Brandon's name. There he is. Yeah, I just actually moved to Dallas. Um, I'm working with a former uh, NBA player. His name is Justin Demon. So I plan on just expanding with him and seeing how far I can go, honestly. Good deal. All right, uh, Isabel Nira. fitness instructor so I'll be doing part part time full time there. I really want to invest a lot and I also got a job offer at Stretch Lab over in Glenview as a flexologist. All right, excellent. Uh Cyan per uh, person, are you here? Not seeing Cyan. All right, we'll move on to Willie Rogers. Hello, how are you doing, sir? How are you doing? <laughs> there he is. Um, so what I plan on doing, well, not plan on doing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working at a sports performance facility, helping athletes and everything, you know, progress and get better and try and be, you know, the best they could be. Now, I also have a business, a person, an online personal training business that I'm doing. It's called One Extra Step Fitness because I like people to take that one extra step to better themselves. I know it's kind of corny, but I like it. Um, and then another thing that I'm going to be doing is working on getting my uh, CEP, which is clinical exercise physiologist. And I eventually want to work in an outpatient clinic or somewhere, maybe start my own practice to work with uh, cardiac and pulmonary patients. And I also want to do uh, cancer, cancer patients. I want to start my own little thing because I don't feel like there's enough cancer, you know, uh, rehabilitation out there to exercise. Would agree with that. We should have asked Willie what he isn't doing. I think that would have been that would have been a shorter answer. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm also going to be doing a lot of investing, you know, because we have to have multiple streams of income so we can survive out here in this, in this world. Yes, sir. All right, thank you, sir. All right, Mason Sheldon, are you here? Yes. All right. Um, I'll be starting a job in uh, a nursing home in Belleville, Illinois, and I'll be working as a PTA. Excellent. Alyssa Sutton. Do we have Alyssa? Not seeing her name anywhere. All right, Adam Warfel. Yeah, I'll be heading out to Colorado State for an internship uh, with a Christian ministry called Chi Alpha. 
So I'll be out there for a year and gotcha. go from there. Excellent. Well, if you need any pointers, I lived in Colorado for 10 years. So you, you know I know the lay of the land out there. All right, uh, and last but not least, Charlotte Westmoreland. I got a job as an athletic trainer at Ortho Illinois Mount Conklin. All right, excellent. All right, did I miss anybody? There's probably somebody I missed out there and they're like, I'm not saying anything. All right, once again, thank you very much for taking the time to join us today. What I'd like to do is have everybody unmute one more time. All right, and on the count of three, I want to give one more huge round of applause, screams, pots and pans, dogs barking, firecrackers, celebration noise for all of our fantastic students and our fantastic family and friends who are there in support. All right. On the count of three. One, two, three. Yes, Brandon! Yes, Brandon! Yes, I got you, baby! Yes! That's how I'm Let's go! Brandon, do your thing. Congrats, everybody, though. Good job. Be safe. All righty. That's all I have for you, folks. That's the end of the show. And uh, we will wish you a pleasant uh, afternoon, a pleasant weekend, and a pleasant into the future. So thanks for attending again, and uh, we'll hope to uh, see you all down the road. And for those uh, seniors who are going to commencement, unfortunately for you, I will be there. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you my, I'll save my pre-commencement speech for the day of, but make sure you look for me on the day of commencement and try to sit as much together as you can because it'll make it easier for me to find you, snap a couple pictures, and give you my pre-commencement speech. All right? We'll see everybody later. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.